Josh Michelle, everybody. Welcome him to the stage. Hello. How are you guys? All right, so the beginning of my talk has audience participation, so be prepared to scream only when I tell you to, and keep it short, I only have five minutes. So when I count to three, I want you to scream the name of your favorite brewery. One, two, three. I didn't, I didn't understand any of that, but that's good. Um, mine is uh, Cascade, and I really like ska these days. Um, next, next audience participation. When I count to three with a yes or no answer, do you buy beer only from your favorite brewery? No! No, that's what I thought you were going to say, actually. Um, if you all said yes, then that would mean that you're all completely brand loyal. And really, there's no need for marketing because you're just going to buy the same shit anyway. Uh, but since you all yelled no, that means that breweries have a unique opportunity to use marketing to their advantage to get people interested in drinking their beer. Um, I know a lot of brewery owners think that marketing is bullshit, but that's not true. Um, ultimately, having a great brewery... Those are really nice socks, actually. Uh, ha having great beer is the most important thing, um, but it's okay to have great marketing. You're just extolling the positive virtues of your beer. I worked for, uh, for a top 50 brewery for about four years. Uh, I learned a lot in the marketing department. Um, these are just things that I've learned. Um, there's a whole lot of competition in craft beer, and there's more and more every single year. Uh, it, two years ago and last year, 271 breweries opened up. I think it's going to be well over 100 more this year. That means there's more competition when you get to uh, people trying to take your tap handles away from you or trying to take your shelf space. Uh, this is from Colorado Liquor Mart, one of my favorite liquor stores. This is about half of the shelves that they have. Uh, just having great packaging isn't going to stand out anymore. Uh, one of the people who's doing a great job of marketing, I know they're the big, biggest guys out there, the third largest craft brewery, it's New Belgium. They just entered the uh, Mid-Atlantic region, which is, has 14 million people. It's an emerging beer market. It's a, a great place for beer. Uh, one of the things they did uh, is they partnered with the band Clutch, who's a huge band out east. I never heard of them. I never, I've never heard of them. But they're from Maryland. It's no coincidence to me that they released a beer with a brewery, with a band from Maryland the same year that they're entering that market. One thing that sucks about them is their website. It's a piece of crap. Um, there's no brand message. This is their homepage. I don't even know what to do. I, they have so much marketing money. This is all they can do. That's a different Ignite presentation. Uh, Austin Beer Works is a brand new brewery. They just opened this year. They've got... Killer packaging, great solid brand message, uh, a great website, smart copy. They understand that having good marketing from the beginning is a positive. Um, as you can see from this graph, people are going to be using the web from their mobile phones more and more. It's skyrocketing. Um, I'm going to give you some tips for ways to leverage that as a brewery. Not that any of you all, none of you all have breweries, but uh, Deschutes Brewery is, is a great one. They just redesigned their website. This agency in Portland did it, and uh, they've got a, a really solid brand message. Everything sort of fits on the iPhone screen. They've got information about their seasonals. Uh, the first tab on the top is Find Our Beers. They had people find out what they wanted the most from a website. Finding beer was the most important thing. I also think they've got great... Um, information about their beers as well. Uh, okay, one more audience participation. Scream if you own an iPhone. There are some breweries out there, including one in this room that uses Flash for their website. None of you, none of you can ever access their website from your phone. It's terrible. Um, social media is important. I know everybody's got a Twitter account. It's all about co building conversation. It's not about broadcasting like these schmoes in the 40s, although I like that the guy was smoking. Um, craft beer consumers as well have serious bullshit detectors, and if you're bullshitting them, they're going to call you out on it. They're going to tell all their friends, so be honest. It's important to, to talk about the positive things about your brand and your beer. Uh, this isn't really a marketing slide, but doesn't Adam Avery look a lot like Archer from the TV show Archer? So if you see him this weekend, tell him that. Maybe this is the greatest piece of marketing ever. 
We just don't know. Um, so takeaways are, you know, extol the positive virtues of your beer and your brand. Be honest and be prepared for this mobile web revolution because it's coming and it's coming strong. So thank you much. I appreciate it.